Why, hello there, mighty, magical, and mundane beings alike. Shams Nelson here from Fantastic Anatomy. In this video, we're going to go through the whole Fantastic Anatomy method for drawing fantasy characters, um, and you're going to end up with something like this. It's kind of basically the portrait, so if you have, like, if you play tabletop RPGs, they have a little box for your character's portrait, so it's going to focus in on the head. So I'm going to go ahead and just start drawing uh, some characters and kind of talking about the method. And uh, so the eyes, the nose. So actually, let's get more fantastic over there. Well, it's okay. You know what? We don't have to be crazy. We'll put big eyes, big eyes. So you probably already watched the um, how to draw the fantasy skull drawing video, which is the first video in this series. If not, you should go check it out first. So I'm actually just go really quick with these. I like to do wide faces for dwarf, dwarven type characters. They're pretty fun, I think. And then uh, we got to fit someone in here. So let's do a tall, skinny, skinny type character. You know what? Maybe make it more angular. So the thing with Fantastic Anatomy, we want to experiment with shapes as much as possible. You want to have a lot of fun with that. Um, that's where you're going to get a lot of the, uh, of the, like, interesting ideas and characters that you'll come up with. So, I'll make this dwarf, I'll make his nose too wide, kind of similar to that one, I guess, but it's okay. And, uh, let's give him a beard. Because he is, after all, a dwarf. So going on, going along with the fantastic anatomy method, is uh, I like to keep things really loose and um, not think too much about things actually, and kind of let things jump off the page. But if you want to, you can also go in with more of an idea of what you want. So maybe for this character, let's come up with a concept. Um, let's say this guy's like very like nervous and distressed about something. Um, or he's a very suspicious character. Uh, he's always suspicious of everyone. Probably because he's not trustworthy himself. This looks like, uh, kind of like Groot, huh? Or an Ed. Let's give him, like, Frieza ears. So this is kind of like where we left off in the skull video. And from here, so one of the, you're going to fill in the eyes first. And the eyes will sit inside the eye socket. You gotta remember that there's an upper lid that's usually more, uh, usually put more emphasis on the upper lid than the lower lid. Oh yeah, this guy's supposed to be sneaky, so we can have him looking sideways. And then here, if you want to put the lower lid, you'll see how that can be, can affect the entire expression. So it'll have to be a whole other video about expression as well. Hmm. We don't want him to look angry. I want to look very suspicious. I think his eyebrows should be very, very low. Suspiciously low, even. Yes. Yes. Oh, I want... Oh, I want my... Oh, no. No. You have to beware the, the spinning rainbow of doom. It heralds great suffering. Harold's great suffering. We still tell tales of when last it came into our cyberlands. I don't know. Why is he like, he's not looking suspicious enough? Maybe the glance isn't quite sideways enough. The more sideways it is, the more suspicious it is. Alright, I shouldn't spend too much time. The nose, so now we have the basic shape. The nose, you want to emphasize uh, the nostril and um, basically and the side nostril. So the nose, the nostril hole, and the side nostril, and then shade in the bottom plane. And I like to add a little, a little highlight. So I'll shade it in. Well, let's see, I can just shade it in again like this. And then erase out the shine of the nose. Okay, cool. Now, usually I think that the light source is coming from above down because it's the simplest way to do it. So 
So if that's the case, then the upper lip's going to be in shadow, and the area below the lower lip will be in shadow. But the lower lip itself will be in light. The mouth has um, the, uh, the uh, oh, I should know this because I'm taking an anatomy class. The, like, ocularis, ocularis, not oculi, the mouth ocularis. <laughs> That's uh, this shape. It's like, here's the nose. We got that going on. Sad clown. I think this guy more gaunt. So we can emphasize those uh, those uh, cheekbones. Hair is something I'm still kind of working on, but let's give this guy some weird hair. Here, dude, this guy is more sci-fi style now. Now that we've given him this hairdo. He's like coming from the cyberpunk future of the 29th century. Alright. Excellent. So, we put some weird little thingies on his head. So that's great. Definitely have to have a sci fi episode of Fantastic Anatomy. Let's go down to the neck. Basically, we got the two lines, two lines out. Gotta look out for sad clowns. And then we're gonna choose a point somewhere around here. And that's where the sternocleidomastoid mastoideus or whatever is going to come down something like that all right it's a guy we'll give him an Adam's apple oh I should have made one of these a girl all right we're gonna make this one a girl if we want to make a girl let's give her thicker upper eyelash like thicker eyelashes okay and bigger eyes we're gonna be two two features and then, like a, there's gonna have to be a whole video about drawing females how to make your character masculine or how to make your character feminine that'll be good so you can make a more feminine masculine character or a more masculine feminine character and you'll have uh, the ability to be in control of that so if you don't connect it here it kind of shows that the nose is upturned a little bit if you do connect it below it kind of it's like the nose went like this versus the nose going like that you see. Hope that makes sense. Okay, so mm, doo -doo -doo. give her some lips. We're gonna define the lips more since this is a very feminine creature. And let's let's bring her her chin in a little bit. Keep her feminine. All right, cool, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay. And then we got to give her a circlet because she is royalty from the lands that she, that when, where she hails from. She's killing it on the nobility scene. Straight rocking that, that nobility. So we want the neck to come in. Let's see where the back of the cranium might be right there. Imaginary line coming out. She's a lady, so let's make it thinner. See how much more we're going to bring that in. And it's going to also taper down a little bit. It's coming down here. Like that. Like thither, thither. And of course she's wearing her pearl necklace. So she's a classy lady. There you go. Cool. And then let's finish off this fellow right here. This guy doesn't like him, so I'm guessing that this guy is a troublemaker. Heh <laughs> Oh yeah, maybe he's checking her out. See the line? It's going down. Got some composition in this piece. Oh, or maybe he wants to kidnap her to ransom her back for many 
many platefuls of gold, many silver plates of gold. And uh, let's give him a little bit of a bulbous nose. Doo -doo -doo. Can use a little round circle there and then trace around it. And his nose is very shiny, I'm sure, because he polishes it each night. He polishes it each night with a special, a special elixir that makes him irresistible to the ladies, or so he believes. His name's Grismo. I'm afraid. The dwarves got a thick neck like this, and their shoulders are gonna, you know, very short and stout. So you won't even see the neck, you're just going to see the shoulders coming out. And I'm just going to indicate that and leave it alone. For this, we're going to, let's see, how's the hair growing from the beard? Maybe like that. I like to follow where, think, where's the hair coming from? Because hair is tough for me. So, I'm just kind of imagining how it would grow out and making little thin lines. This one actually makes more sense like that, I think. And then... And then I kind of like outline it a little bit, add in some little details or whatever. I'm going to do a little more research on hair for the hair video. That's one of my weaknesses. I hope no one, none of my nemesi are watching this video. Well, then they shall know my weakness and they shall exploit it to try to defeat me. But they are fools. They cannot defeat the likes of me. <laughs> uh, that was a mighty fine laugh. Yeah, I cracked myself up. Alright, I think we're almost done. Look at his shiny little eyes. You can't trust that little devil. Ding! All right, so let's just finish him off. This guy, we're gonna keep bald in case not. He's he's full shiny, full shiny. Look at that. He's just a sparkling gemstone. We just gotta finish up his ears, and that's about it. So stay tuned, like and subscribe, and all that fun jazz to be up to date with the Fantastic Anatomy series and learn how to draw your own awesome fantasy characters. And if you do, definitely share them in the comments below or go to fantasticanatomy.space and check out the site there. A lot of times I'll put supple supplementary materials there. Um, and uh, like maybe I'll color these guys in and put them up on that site. That might be fun. Anyways, that's it. Peace, God bless, and stay fantastic, everyone.